you can be dead on target with what you see. That's fine too. All right. Now I'm just going to keep adding it once you have the gouache applications down. If you want to take another medium, go over the top of it, like colored pencils and kind of embellish some of the areas. Yes. On my test paper I can get an idea of what it's going to look like. It's it's kind of deceiving that that little paint is going to create that strong of a mark. A bit more vibrant so I'm going to go ahead what's seeing on the feed or what's being seen on the feed right now. I think that'll change as the, as the painting dries a bit. Now continuing with our local color we're just going to basically even in this area where um, it crosses over to the red that we've already applied, we can let that crossing over um, happen. A lot of the supplies I have, I've bought because I wanted to experiment with something new, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, so I don't miss a little bit less water. And some of those details that you see on the apple, those little specks, we'll add those last. Okay, so that, that, yellow, yellow, that yellow green on here. And at this point, it's going to start to become a little bit more like acrylic. And some of these. And it looks like I need to get a little stronger, even still. That's a little better, actually, a little bit stronger. We'll go back over that cast shadow from the stem. And I haven't forgot about the stem. Let that carry over, and then we'll just work it since right now. So if it first goes on and it scares you and it's real, real strong, that's okay. It'll it'll dry a little bit. As long as you're washing it on there, make the apple look like it's a little bit shiny, and uh, we can let that kind of fade out. So we can get rid of some of the brush or get some. Rid of some Seems like they become more noticeable. I guess when you're looking for them, you see more of them. Just to kind of get an idea of where that cast shadow is going to happen. Since we are making up this cast shadow because it doesn't exist in our photo reference. So just a little indication towards the apple if I need to here. We'll go ahead and bring that little bit of blue right underneath there so it's nice and crisp underneath while it's still wet we can work it around a little bit clean up some of those those marks that were made there so again when you're using gouache just keep in mind that it's uh, very similar to watercolor you can add it in transparent washes like watercolor but you can also build up the color and layer the color much like acrylic or oil paint so it's really a cool versatile medium it's also very inexpensive and um, it dries very quickly so uh, there's not a whole lot of artists that use gouache but i think it's a, an exceptional medium to explore and and use in your own paintings